So what the heck is Node.js? Well, <laughs> for some of you, you already know what it is. A very good sense of it. Some of us <laughs> somehow missed it. There's a lot of resources out there that, ex that explain what Node.js is, but yet this very small detail escapes <laughs> us. For me in particular, it's been I've been programming with Node.js not you know on and off, not a lot, but here and there for about four years. And this one minor detail, kind of important detail, totally slipped my mind. Totally missed it. And that is, Node.js is a runtime environment. What does that mean? Well, um, what is Node.js? And we get, what is Node.js and why use it? Introduction tutorials point. Node.js is a platform built on Chrome's JavaScript script runtime for easily building fast and scalable network applications. Something about event-driven, non-blocking I.O. model, lightweight and efficient, yada, yada, yada. So what does that mean? Platform, JavaScript runtime, W3Schools introduction. I, I typically don't click W3Schools. I think they're, they're it's kind of, um, you sometimes it seems like a little bit rudimentary and kind of incorrect. What is Node.js? Node.js is an open source server environment. It's free. It runs on various platforms. What exactly is Node.js? I think these were the only guys that gave me what I'm what I'm describing in this video. Introduction. Oh yeah, we already got that one, right? Oh no, uh, it's up top. Yeah, I already got that one. An open source cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript code outside of a browser. All right, this one's pretty good. And then Node.js itself. Runtime and runtime built on Chrome V8's JavaScript engine. And finally, let's go to YouTube. All right? What is Node.js? Beginner's guide. What is Node.js? Express.js tutorial. Node.js for beginners, right? Millions of views, these things. Beginner's hey, so guide. I've got a question. What is Node.js? What do you do with it? Super basics. Um, runtime environment for executing JavaScript code. I just want to display this error. Um, did some before making this video. Node.js or Node can be used for. So you notice they go over. Quite often we runtime environment. All right, all right. Code. So, so the thing that I want to point out here, the thing that I want to point out here is everyone just assumes you know what a runtime environment is. <laughs> Which, it's not that hard, <laughs> but for some, for me, it just, it went over my head and it never came back, <laughs> I never got it. <laughs> I wrote entire applications in Node, did not understand <laughs> what a Node runtime environment is. And I, I just want to show you, um, the only one, the only one that really even came close to describing what a runtime environment is, is this one right here. This is a, this is a, a, a CS grad student at SUNY Buffalo and about Java, the Java virtual machine, the Node.js V8 engine. How long ago was this? He did this April. So he wrote this in April um, of last year. For four years, I didn't realize what is a runtime environment. So, most machines, when you when you actually write, when you actually compile your code, um, you've got to actually run the code on the CPU, which the operating system will lo will I, I believe loads the binary and then runs it um, on on the processing unit. Um, I don't know too much about this process personally. Although I do know that for something like C++, you need to have a tuple of, I think, three different things. For each uh, program, you have a certain instruction set that your compiler has to compile the program to support. Um, there's a binary format also that if you've got like a Linux, I think uses the ELF format and Windows uses 
what does it say here? It says the binary, excuse me, it says, it says the portable executable format. Um, so, and finally, you've got system APIs that you might want to be using, um, which is a problem I've run into personally where I've got, well, let's just say I've run into a lot of problems with C++ programs where I want to move them from Linux to Windows and back and forth. And it, at least one solution to this there's a lot of different things you can do, but one thing you can do is use what's called a virtual machine. So Java, now there's a lot of different things that Java is in comparison to C++, but at least one significant thing, non-trivial thing, is that Java runs on a JVM, a Java virtual machine, that you, you don't compile your code directly down to machine code and, that, and, and your executable is not loaded directly by the operating system, Instead, you have Java installed on your machine, which installs a Java runtime environment, and your Java program, your compiler, compiles your Java code into bytecode, which that bytecode can then be run by the JVM. So it runs on top of this abstraction of your underlying machine. And by doing this, it makes your code extremely portable, your program extremely portable, because all you need to worry about as the programmer is, hey, can I run this um, on a, a Java virtual machine? Is it is it Java? I mean, you don't need to worry about whether or not you can compile it for the particular machine that you're working on after you've actually, excuse me, actually you've actually written the code, written the program. And so that's fantastic. That's great. Um, and additionally, Java has had a lot of work done on its compiler that it, it tends to run about as fast as C++, and C++ compiled code is kind of faster than everything else, <laughs> typically. It's extremely, I mean, there are things in the C++ compiler that will blow, that will blow your mind, um, what, what some of the optimizations that it does. So to bring this back, what does all this have to do with JavaScript? What does all this have to do with Node.js? Well, <laughs> that runtime environment that you see everybody mentioning over and over, it's a runtime environment, it's almost exactly like Java's virtual machine in that Node, Node itself, the program, is a, a runtime. It's built on, it's, it's built, I think it's a V8 Chrome, was it Chromium's V8 engine? Is the runtime environment, and you write JavaScript code and run it on that runtime environment. So just the same way, you know, if you're on, if you're on a terminal, you would just say, Java, you would give Java, I think you give it a, a jar file um, and some configuration files, and then it'll execute that. It'll just start running. Um, you do the same thing with Node. <laughs> just Node and some program, some script, and it goes off. Um, it's a little more, gets a little more complicated than that, though, because of, of, like, for me, I was introduced to Node through React. And so there was, like, this npm start command that you would run that, it was very it, like I didn't really understand what Node was because I was like, well, running npm start doesn't really give you a good sense of like running something just on the Node runtime environment. So what is Node? It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's just like Java. It's whatever you want it to be. Uh, you can write whatever programs you want. I mean, you you know, it's it's Turing complete. Um, it's a it's a runtime environment. It's a runtime environment, and people will call it a platform. And you know they don't. Nobody really spends a lot of time on the fact that it's a runtime environment. What that that implies, what that means. Um, and I'm kind of like, that's not a trivial thing. <laughs> not a lot of people, I think, really immediately understand that. Uh, at least that's just me. I, I I was not one such person. And like I said, I've written I've written multiple. Um, I've written well, at least two. I've at least written at least two. Pretty serious applications in in no on Node in Node, <laughs> well in JavaScript and run on Node, right? Run in the Node runtime environment, and I didn't realize it until like a few weeks ago what that what it actually is. It's just a runtime environment. That's all. Now there's a lot of fancy stuff that comes with Node. And don't get me wrong, it's fun. Node's great. Um, but that being said, it, it is a runtime environment. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, I don't think I have more to add. Um, what else to add there? Now, if you really want to get something interesting going, 
what you do is instead of writing your program in JavaScript, write it in run run it write it in Clojure script and run that on your Node environment. Or alternatively, use Oracle's Grawl VM, which I believe they've open sourced, and write everything in Clojure, <laughs> in both Clojure and Clojure script. Um, not to add not to advertise Clojure too much, but there's a lot of benefits I think to using Clojure as opposed to other languages. We can talk about that, I guess, another time.